Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Box. This is another one of those mystery boxes that's put on, put out by uh, MJ Holdings, which is found at the box stores like Walmart, Myers, etc. So in the past, we've, we've had some decent luck and, you know, obviously the holiday box has been pretty well. This one was, was pretty decent. Um, you get 10 packs in it total, one legacy pack. And this is before the reprints that we've just gone through, so we won't get any of the 25th anniversary reprints. Um, but, you know, you always run the risk that something like this is scaled. Found this on eBay. I uh, ended up paying just shy of $60 for it, so it's going to run about, you know, $6 a pack is what we'll average it out to. But, you know, that comes with the caveat. We enjoy mystery boxes. And this is one that, you know, is a little bit probably better just because you do get nothing but packs. It's not any of those random ones where you get the like 35 rare cards or common cards plus five rare cards that come in the hard plastic case um, that are absolute garbage or the ones that are like 20 cards and they're just like nothing but bulk junk. So I, I think this is probably one of the better ones where the packs are scaled at all is still, you know, up for debate. Some of these do have, com uh, sorry, not common, but guaranteed supers, guaranteed um, it, you know, items in the packs, uh, so that make it a little bit harder to scale it in theory, but obviously on some of the older packs, um, that there aren't guaranteed items in, uh, you could run the risk of that. Still sealed. Um, I guess there's always a risk that this could be resealed having bought it off eBay. I don't really necessarily think that's the case. Obviously the box has been a little bit squished. It would be my only real concern here, but again, I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, I can't say anyone else would necessarily. I don't, I don't recommend necessarily buying anything. Um, you know, buy at your own risk, buyer beware. And if this is a scam, it's a scam. I'm fine with that. I know what I got myself into kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm willing. I like mystery boxes. Uh, I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, we got another mystery set coming up, another mystery box coming up. This is, I guess, the middle of two that I've been, or middle of three. It can't be the middle of two that we're doing. So eh, maybe this is just poor packaging from the, the, you know, distributor. But if it's resealed, the stuff's resealed, you know, up here, maybe it looks like it's been squished in. Eh. <laughs> eh. You know, it's bound to happen. At some point, I'll get something that's just been resealed stuff, you know, probably in my life opening videos but why don't we just take everything out see what we get and uh hope for the best shall we there's another pack in here somewhere i can hear it shuffling around all right that is everything so at some point i'm gonna buy some resealed pack by accident it's just a matter of time so let's see what we get we got dark saviors we got Duelist Alliance, we've got Maximum Crisis, we've got Breakers of Shadow, we've got Fusion Enforcers, which I've had some decent look out of, Cybernetic Horizon, we've got Maximum Crisis again, lol, Shining Victories, and Flames of Destruction. Were these the exact packs on the box? Oh, and our legacy pack is Dark Crisis. So we're looking at Skill Drain, an Exodia Necross. So back the box, we had Shining Victories. We did get, we had Dark Saviors. We got a copy of that, right? Yep, we got a copy of Dark Saviors. Got a copy of Duelist Alliance, Flames of Destruction. Breakers of Shadow. We didn't get Secret Forces. We didn't get Dimension of Chaos. We got Cybernetic Horizon. We got Fusion Enforcers and we got Legacy Pack is Dark Crisis. So Maximum Crisis not on there and otherwise we got everything on the back of the box. Oh well. And we did get 10 packs, so. 
We'll save Dark Crisis for last. I guess since it's a legacy pack, see if we get Exodia and Necross. Skill Drain. Skill Drain got hit hard though <laughs> with the reprints. It used to be like a $10 card out of the packs. Uh, got hit hard, but hit, it is what it is. We'll see if we get any Ultras. Zephyr War, Predaplant, Cordyceps, Set Rotation, DD Ghost. Uh, we got Sylvan, Princess, Prite, Princess Sprite. Uh, as a super rare, and then Zephra Providence as just a rare Phantom Knights of the Wrong uh, Magnet Ring, and then Venu Brightbird of Divinity Phantasm Spiral Assault. So just a super rare in the first pack there. But we like mystery boxes. Like I said, Magician's Left Hand, DD Ghost. It's funny we get it. Oh, we did get a hit. We've got Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior, as an ultra rare. Let's go. We'll take it. Not guaranteed by any means. And we got Bujin Haruko as a rare. So hey, we got an, we got an ultra rare out of Mystery Box, which is not guaranteed by any means. Bug Signal. And Venu Brightbird of Divinity to round out the pack. What do you say we do Cybernetic Horizon? A set that I absolutely rag on because I feel like people throw it in as a legacy pack, even though it's not. We got Restoration Point Guard. It looks like Reggie. Cupid Volley. Goku Ring Trainer. <laughs> not Goku, Goki. Demise Agent of Armageddon. And World Legacy Survivor as a super rare. And Renewal of the World as a rare. Belista Squad. Solitary Sword of Poison. And Crusadia Reclusia to wrap out the pack. Uh, let's go for the Imperm in Flames of Destruction. Why not? All right, we got Shadal Construct. We've got Ultra Geist Kidolgia, Vindred Nightmare. And we got Nightmare Goblin, an Ultra Rare. So two Ultra Rares. We'll take it. We'll take it, right? In a mystery box, we got... Heartless drop off. We got flower cardian moon flowering, flower viewing, trickstar bloom, insector picophalina, vindra daybreak wraps out the pack. Uh, let's do shining victories. None of these packs are first edition. Yep, none of them are first edition. So nothing, nothing special there in that front. Bug emergency. Whoops. Every card stuck together. Luna light black sheep. We've got Finite Cards. We've got Raid Raptor Pain Lanius. And then we got Tuners High as a super rare. And Mausoleum of White as a rare. Ryu Okami, Wonder Xyz, and Raid Raptor Avenge Vulture. Dark Saviors sounds good. Up next. But. I like mystery boxes. I'm willing to take the risk. All uh, super rares in this pack. We have Vampire Crimson, Vampire Awakening. We've got Pandora, the Flying Fortress. We got Plague Spreader Zombie and Dina Hero for Hire as the secret rare in the set. And it kind of looks like a uh, Leo Mon back from a uh, Digimon throwback for all you guys. Breakers of Shadow. We'll do that one next. I think Fusion and Forcer has been good to me in the past. I'm going to save him that one. And Duelist Alliance. I feel has got good. Sheer Nui Style Synthesis. Performer Pal Rain Goat. Dynamis Stegosaur. We got a, another Ultra Rare. Quaking Mirror Force as an Ultra Rare. Uh, out of Breakers of Shadow. Which is a good Mirror Force card. So that is, that's three Ultra Rares that are not guaranteed. Still Cavalry of Dynon, and Cosmo Delta Shuttle, Shiranui Samurai, and Dynomist Rush, and Majespector Sonics. So three non-guaranteed Ultras out of uh, seven packs thus far, plus the one guaranteed Secret Rare. We'll do uh, Fusion Enforcers. It's going to be another guaranteed So we got Fluffall Octopus as our guaranteed forget that it's always right there in the front. Predoplant Moray, Nephthenes, Predoplant Squid Dro Drosera, 
Summoner Monk, and King of the Swamp. Is King of the Swamp banned? Let me know. All right, so we'll do Duelist Alliance here, which is pack nine. So we've got three Ultras, Metaphysic, Arm Dragon, Stellar Knight Alpha. We've got Artifact Lancea, Perform Pal Swordfish, and Stellar Knight Skybridge, and Stellar Knight Vega, and Fishboard Doctor. Gaia, the Midnight Sun, Perform Pal, Skeeter Skimmer, wraps us out there. So three of, what is that? Nine, which is really three of seven, because they're non-guaranteed. Almost knocked you guys over again. Very common theme here. See if we can go four of eight. 50%, see if we can go 50% here on non-guaranteed. Rod of Silence KS. We got DD Trainer. We've got Guardian KS. We've got uh, Shinato, King of a Higher Plane, which is a ultra rare as well. So that is four for eight on non-guaranteed. Okay, I'm just gonna knock you guys over just to get it out of the way at this point. So it's four for eight on non-guaranteed uh, ultra rares or non-guaranteed packs. And we got Great Maju Garzette and Vile Pond Archfiend, Fairy of the Spring, Final Countdown, won a few duels in Master Duel with that, and Cyber Raider. So what I'm saying is, sorry, my thoughts are a little bit disjoint, is in two sets, Guaranteed super rares, sorry, not guaranteed super rares, guaranteed secret rares being fusion enforcers and uh, what was that? Dark saviors. Um, we were guaranteed secrets. So of the 10 packs, two are guaranteed, but then eight packs left non-guaranteed ultras. And we got four ultras out of this mystery box. So we had one out of dark crisis, we got one out of Flames of Destruction, one out of Maximum Crisis, which I was really surprised by getting anything out of Maximum Crisis, and then one out of Breakers of Shadow as well. So an absolutely great mystery box for us. Um, probably doesn't come back out to 60 bucks in the end, but definitely worth it. I love mystery boxes and it was legit. So <laughs> we didn't get scammed. And we'll open up the next one, which is going to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to have a little bit more just blister packs in it. But this is what we're here for. Just a uh, all-around good time, getting hits, mystery boxes that actually hit cards. So we'll catch you in the next one. Let me know what your favorite pool was. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.